What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Um, what is going on here? Uh, anyway, we're, we just finished banging Shani, and I was doing a little bit of looking around, and this armor is actually better than my old one that I had. Check it out. And it does the same kind of a thing, relatively. So I'm going to leave that on. Obviously, the trousers and the boots are better, so I've left those. Uh, well, at least I think they are. No, the boots are actually better. Sorry. Which is pretty impressive. The only thing that weren't better, wasn't better, sorry, was the trousers. So I had to take those off. Ergo, I'm going to drop this, some bitch. And I did it again. Uh, one second. As you can see, I'm overburdened. And I've also equipped the King of the Swiderts crown that I didn't do. Um... As you can see, it gives you a 15% bonus goal, which is higher than most. See, this one's only 5, so I figured I'd rock that. Um, I'd like to sell some stuff, but to be honest, I don't think I'm going to get that. Is there any random jargon that we don't need? <laughs> the ass ears, I love it. That's too funny. So I can rep the ass ears. In theory, I should probably pop something into the consumables, hey? Now you can have four slots, which is fantastic. But I'm not sure. A sensor doesn't really do anything, to be honest. Anyway, um, what should I drop? Maybe I should drop some of these swords. Which is the lowest? I'll have to drop this. It's pretty heavy. The annoying thing is, it... They're so, like, they're all relatively good, you know? They're worth money, these things. 285. I'm just gonna drop this one. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. There we go. Okay, I think we're ready. Now, the another annoying thing about all that was uh, I, my haircut was changed, and I didn't ask for that. But it is what it is. So, anyways, we got to find a fast travel location. Which we will do in a minute here. That was a very lovely wedding, though, wasn't it? Oh, we're back inside the wedding grounds. Hope everyone had a good time. Did you just whistle at me? I'm a dude. I mean, that's fine if you swing that way. That I'm not angry about that. I'm just saying. Let's just check this board while we're here. All right. See, I this isn't the original haircut, though, as you can see. It's like a nice haircut. So it's like... He's got like an undercut, basically, with the ponytail. Anyways... So let's just make sure that everything's good. Yeah, I gotta wrap this up. Okay, good. All right, we'll just head to the head to that area now. Like I said, I'm so glad that they put this little arrow here now. That way, you know where the uh, where you're supposed to go. Because before you didn't have that. Okay. Call up with a bottle. Call up with a bottle. Oh my god. You're a fancy lad, aren't you? Curling up with a bottle. Bottle, bottle, bottle. Alright. Where he at, though? Time to time. My ballast stands on three pillars. Good food. Good drink. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> I was like, where the hell? Why is he in this pub? I thought. Oh, right. I guess he, uh. He, his place burned down. Doing? Play. Overgrown wains, you see. Have you any children, Geralt? None. Oh, yes. Forgot which is hysteria. Well, don't just stare at me. Tell me what brings you. Might as well talk to him. Your band. Chosen some interesting specimens. Interested? How so? Common carousers and roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? 
Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few found me themselves. They're company for drink and sport, at least. And ever since I began travelling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as moles. First time I've seen a saber like that. What's its origin? A fear. It was a gift. You stole it, didn't Any you? Any soft-armed craven can hang a blade from his belt. Prance about feigning danger. But my saber's a promise. If I reach for it, heads will roll. Mere sight of it quells the urge to duel. In Shaber's eager to face Olgier von Everek, the infamous outlaw. My medallion seems to think it's magic. <laughs> it thinks, eh? And I think you've never seen a better weapon. Keep wondering how you turned the Ophiri into a beast. The more I think about it, the more I'm sure it was no run of the mill curse. This professional curiosity, or nosiness, as common as the club. Desire to improve. Information could prove useful down the line. In the future, you under the delusion you'll complete your tasks, live happily ever after. Remains to be seen. So for now, admit it. A mage helped you, right? Give you a hint. You're not the only one to fulfill wishes around here. How Dim transformed the Ophiri? It was your wish? Nay. It was my doing alone. But you're right. It was no ordinary curse. Though I'll say no more. A curse I uttered in a moment of rage. With no thought to it actually taking hold. Okay then. Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. Ophiri was a Dauphin on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for her lass. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Afiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. Hmm. All right. Well, let's actually do the the main story. Wrap it up here. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish, and talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say. Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Is that all? Or have you something else? Gonna work on getting you Bersodi's house next. Best of luck. Enjoy. Blimey. me. Those are some razors you've got. Yes, they are. Alright, so... Now we gotta try and get him that house that he asked for. Hey! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Because you know how you know how when you finish a mission and it kind of. Everyone to me! To me! Wait a minute, one second. I'm I'm in Oxenfurt. No, what am I doing? Map. There you go. Do I want? Oh, never mind. Ooh. I'm gonna head to the armorer back here. Or was it again? It's over here, right? Yeah. I'm gonna head to the armorer and sell him some shit. Stuff I don't need anymore. Maybe some weapons as well. I keep talking about it. I keep bitching about it, rather. Hi. Greetings. My, my, a witcher. Something tells me I'll finally get something interesting to do. Sure doesn't look like you're short on work. 
So, this. A Redanian army order. But there's no pleasure in it. One after the other, same thing time and again. No finesse required. Looking to perfect your craft? Of course. Crafting's like plowing a maid. Falling to a rut and... Well, sure, you'll get the job done, but there'll be no hoops, no hollers, no standard ovation. So, got any special requests for me? Help me stay on form. Still talking about armor, aren't we? Aye. What else will it be? <laughs> Alright. Show me your wares, brother. Show me what you have in stock. First, I'm gonna sell him some ish. Starting with... Oh, God, it's... Thing is, this shit is worth more than that. I know it is. These hunting boots. I'm gonna... That's, that's a decent amount of coin. Selling me good money. I mean, sort of. They kind of rip you off, these guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is better. All oh, right, not by much. I gotta get the stuff repaired. I gotta remember that. I'll will sell this tunic, and I'll sell that. Why not? Get some lightness. Okay, and that's all he'll do. Can I buy anything back or buy anything from him? How much is this sword? It's gonna be overpriced. Mm, yeah, it's pretty overpriced. Look at this, a thousand he wants for that. These aren't even as good. Sorry, mate. These boots are pretty good, but they're expensive. <laughs> they're not worth the two extra. Like, you know what I mean? Like, look at this. Assassin's trousers. The vitality boost is nice, but look at the price tag. Even these Axe Axeman's ones are better. But hold on, let's go to... What do we have for crafting? He can make this cutlass. And it's got... All its bonuses are a lot better. However, the armor is a lot worse. The thing is, I haven't found any ridiculously good armor in a while, you know what I mean? Or, or any of these components, any of these, you know, these things, finding any one of these. And they're not even that good. At all. They would have been. But these are all basic ones. You gotta remember that, too. Okay, I need repairs done, mate. I was gonna say... Cost that much? Equip that. Repair that. Get my pants repaired. Get my boots. Is that... Yeah, I'm wearing those. And get the gloves repaired. Crap, I think that was a bit of a waste. You know, I'm gonna repair these. Then I could sell them. There we go. Alright, mate. I appreciate your time. JK, goodbye. So long. He's like, yeah! <laughs> I hosed this guy. Now I'm gonna sell them for like triple their value, because that's how people work. I don't... Yeah, I don't... Hold on a minute. I was gonna sell them. I always do this. Hold on. Oh, uh, yeah. That was just an armorer. There's no actual... Uh, blacksmith here. That's okay. We'll find one, I'm sure. We got, we got everything repaired, and that's what's important. This the Brasodi Brothers Auction House? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you, fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian Army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vaclav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. 
Poor Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high ranking sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. <laughs> Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi. Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. <laughs> Need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior. What? Who do I spy? Geralt? Geralt of Rivia? In the flesh. How long's it been, Vimy? Usury still your passion and profession? I prefer the term savings and loan banking. But all in all, aye, that's how my preference lies. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? Are you squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. It's the people you know. But my orders... Fuck your orders. <laughs> Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha, I thought not. No, stand to attention and shut your giggy. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Suck it! Now, Matt! Round you go! One, two, one, two! That, that, I love that private Kleiner, man. That dude is awesome. What do you have for me? Appreciate the help. Just note, I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you is a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. What did folk come to bid on? Any idea? All kinds of valuables. Rare weaponry, exotica. But I've got my eye on a selection of canvases by the master portraitist of the Maribor School, Van de Neuve and Longendijk. Well, well. Never knew you to be a connoisseur. Of course I'm not. It's all muck and rubbish to me. Point of fact, I'll just wrap them in paper and lock them in the vault. Why in the world do... What do you mean, why, Geralt? I've got to diversify my investments, didn't I? Could have sworn the Borsodi's auction house was in Novigrad. There was, but they moved it. You see, Radovid offered Horst a preferential tax rate. Zero percent. Huh. Pretty much unbeatable. Aye. And I've near seen a purer example of the benevolent state. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little keep his soul. But, Horst is like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I clicked on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Egg, white, gold, and All right, gold. here we go. Let's check it out. As insects. Legitimate so, auction house in here, guys. Oh, wait a minute. Dress of harky silk. Sorry, mate. Is there an actual blacksmith up here? You thought of buying real estate? Could get to attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in... Hmm. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Hilbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing quite. 
Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> All right, so I gotta yap with some folk. Meet Whoa, Vivaldi's friends. Ah! That's the center coin. He literally just pushed me. Yaromir. Yaromir, uh, might we trouble you we spare? Mm-hmm. Greetings, Vivaldi. Who's this? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. I thought you might have a blather with us. I put the paintings on the block today. Ah, sniffing for a quick turnaround as usual, are we? Pot calling the kettle black, I'd say. Do a lively trade in canvases yourself, my friend. True. Yet first they delight my eyes, whereas you treat them as mere promissory notes. The only arts that interest you are those culinary. What about you, Witcher? Do you know anything about paintings? Uh, sure. Realize this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Am I actually gonna have to... Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Noob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Noob, the master from Maribor. I don't know. Wait, what was it? Edward, the master from Maribor. Um, I think I'm gonna try and, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna go try, I'm gonna go with the merchant. Really? Merchant with the pearl. No two ways about it. My, my. Who would have thought? Hmm. Might I have a word in private? <laughs> He's like, yo, bro. Money, money! <laughs> Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roo is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, has his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friends, Becky. I don't think we're going to be doing that. <laughs> Something tells me. So, what did he tell you? Why not? To buy the Van Roo. Apparently, this bookseller in Novigrad's willing to pay top coin for his work. Oh, who'd have thunk? All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She a number of them's doing my heed in. Oh, we just leveled up for being a boss. Munchkin! I got an achievement. I don't know what that was about. Anyway, uh, right. Let's upgrade the defense. That's very important. I've wanted to do that for a while. Damage from hit received while dodging is reduced by 60. And then we the next one will be 80. So it'll be pretty important to get those going. And we're a relatively high level right now. So let's keep talking to people. Countess. Greetings to the Honorable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. That's pretty cool. 
What what is this thing? Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us, humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations, dating from my oh so distant youth. Didn't you see such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece. What would it be? An armor element. An antique. School of the Wolf. From 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento. One of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%. A modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Okay. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. All right, she has diagrams worth selling. The Viper armor. This is good to buy. Maybe I should spend some money here. So what is this? The armor, the boots, the gauntlets, and the trousers. I think I might buy that. They're going to be really, really good. Let me see what the total is here. 235 armor. That's pretty high up. But you need to be level 39 before you can equip it. But I'll buy it. Bam. All right, what's this? Witcher potion. These, look at how expensive this one is. This is basically a grenade. You know what? I might as well buy this. I don't know what they do, but... I can't afford this anymore. Can, can I sell stuff? She'll take potions, but that's about it. Just wondering if it's worth buying. It's pretty expensive. I could sell the gold. How much does she... She has quite a bit of money. She's a blacksmith. I might as well sell these some bitches. Yeah. There you go. I'll sell the ring. Sell the silver ring. Sell these. And I'll sell the mug. Now I will buy this. Because money. There we go. We bought everything from her. Cool. I guarantee you that's going to be awesome. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No. But horse boss Moody insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic. Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite a trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Sure. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. She might reward you. See you in a minute, Vimy. That would look splendid. Mm, some spilled wine. Nothing else. Hmm. Watch your back, bro. There's no earring out here, is there? What do you know? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is She's so turned on. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he? 
if you don't mind my asking. How close were you? <laughs> don't mind at all. But before I answer, I also wouldn't mind knowing how you knew each other. Oh, I've told no one. Not ever. But I suppose I owe you an explanation. It was the winter of 1234. A beast prowled the streets of Oxenford. A fledder, I believe. A contract was issued, a notice posted, and a witcher appeared. Besamir, of the School of the Wolf. He came through our estate, tracking the beast. Our eyes met, something sparked. I wrote him a message, asked my governess to deliver it. He visited, under the cover of night, night after night. On one such occasion, my father heard something. Fesimir had to flee. So quickly, he left behind his gambeson. Ah, the first piece. The start of your collection. Yes. But also the end of our love. Father had an arrest warrant issued. Then quickly married me off. I was fortunate. My husband died young, leaving me a sizable fortune. And thus, I have lived on memories. That's kind of shitty, forced to marry. I know that's how it is, but that that's shitty. <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Hmm. 